Welcome to Data and AI Snapshot number two, a quick view of the latest hot news. Brought to you by Gradient Flow. The AI landscape is rapidly expanding. To help you keep track, Intel Capital just released a new AI infrastructure stack that clarifies each layer of AI functionality. It starts with hardware, followed by software acceleration, the library layer, the data science framework, and orchestration. At the top are automation and the autonomous layer, which is where AI trains AI. There's a robust range of marketplace options within each layer of the stack. There's a new open source framework called Ray that's growing rapidly. Ray is both a general purpose distributed computing platform used with Python applications and a framework for building other frameworks. Ray is so versatile, there's now a diverse set of libraries, including Tune and Rlib, that are built on top of it. In a recent episode of the Data Exchange podcast, Bruna Gonzalez gives a great introduction to the world of epidemic models and their impact in setting public policy. Bruno describes the techniques that are used for epidemic models, the size of the research community, and the process for evaluating the models. We highly recommend the book, Experimentation Works, The Surprising Power of Business Experiments. Data scientists should give this book to their CXOs. Author Stefan Tomke describes the elements of a good experiment, the importance of archiving all results, and tips for creating an experimentation culture. Amazon, Microsoft, and others have proven that experimentation provides significant competitive advantage. If you'd like to learn more, visit gradientflow.com slash newsletter and subscribe. Issue 7 contains most of these topics and more. Thank you.